Hey everybody, it's Aaron here. We got our second episode of our Columbus Blue Jackets franchise mode here on the PS4, guys. In the last episode, we went and did a, a review of the rosters that I edited for each and every NHL team. And also, we looked over the Columbus Blue Jackets roster for the year 1, 2016-17 season. Uh, we will be doing a bit of sim in this episode, guys. I want to say, first of all, I really apologize for taking a week to not post anything and it's not because I didn't that I was waiting for more comments to come in or I was editing rosters which I was editing rosters I was doing that day on Monday here but uh, basically um, uh, what was happening was I uh, I was um, I was really busy I had tons of hockey and um, that was basically it just hockey 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 and that's gonna be it for the like or it was more sorry it was more school projects and such and recording um, and then more, um, more, what was the word, what's the word? Um, sorry, I'm trying to get the rosters, uh, uh ready for you guys as well, because I just literally entered this, uh, franchise mode. Um, what else happened? Uh, how, there's going to be tons of hockey coming this next week, so what I, uh, am to, what I meant to say was, um, I'm going to be, uh, doing the, what is it? I'm not, I may not get an episode, another episode out for a while. I just wanted to upload something so you guys, so then I, you guys knew that I wasn't like dead or something. Um, so I ended up doing the prospects. I'm going to show you Columbus's. I, if you guys really, really, really want to know if your, if your comment, uh, basically changed something, um, then I can let you know down in the comments. But right now I just want to get into this episode, get as much done as possible. It's going to be shorter, like 15, 20 minutes. And uh, we're going to get some sim in the season. So I ended up uh, boosting Gagne a bit more to an 83. Boost is shot up, but not in enough to be an 84. Wenberg, I decided, I was thinking about this. I was going to make him medium top six, but I thought, you know what? He's a young guy. He's already 22, and he's playing very well this season. So low elite isn't that bad because then if he does develop, he could become that top line center that we need. Uh, Atkinson, I moved to 87 with the elite potential because I realized he's actually a lot more studly than I thought. Um, there's a lot of people that I see in other GMs make him like a 90 and 88 and stuff. Okay, can I just say something beforehand, guys? I did watch GM, uh, sorry, um, I did watch Johnny Superman's um, uh, custom roster update, so I could use it as a reference. I could use it maybe somewhat to copy, but it's like something that I can take away from it. There's some things I didn't like uh, about how he edited some players. Um, I decided to put my own touches on things, and if you guys are going to say, oh, he copied me, or you copied Superman, you are so bad of a YouTuber, then, uh, you know what, I'm sorry that you don't like my videos, you can go watch Superman, or some other YouTuber that you that will satisfy your needs, okay? But I'm just doing the, the rosters that I, that I want to see from my uh, franchise mode. Uh, so, let's see, Atkinson, I think he's a he is a second line forward, uh, we got to figure out who we want to go where. Let's get the, yeah, we'll put Playmaker and Sniper with, or we'll put the Playmaker and Sniper, Atkinson and Wemberg together, and then Jenner can be on the second line as well, yep. Uh, Gagne, Calvert, and Hartnell, that seems to be fine for me. Uh, Carlson, we can develop, Campbell has better face-offs, but I wouldn't mind developing Carlson's a bit more. Um, but, you know what, we'll just leave that the way it is. Josh Anderson will be our other fourth line guy. I decided not to have uh, Clarkson, actually Clarkson might be our fourth, or extra forward. Um... Milano, Bjorkstrand, I kept him as medium top six. That's just how I felt uh, it should be. Uh, goalies, oh yeah, so McElhinney, or there's uh, Merzlikens and Forsberg, but our goalie, who I'm going to actually have as our backup, I made him low elite Corpus Allo because I looked at his stats over the past couple of years in the AHL and NHL. He hasn't blown away with stats, like nothing 2.2, 2.1 really. 2.3 I think was around the lowest that he's had, but like for, for goals against average and save percentage, maybe 9.2. Nine two one or something, really, really barely in the uh, ninety two percent range. But uh, that's basically how I feel about Corpus Allo. Low elite, he can still become that starting goalie, elite goalie that we have. But either way, we do have Bobrovsky. So I mean, we we'll probably have Bobrovsky for the whole GM unless we trade him. So I mean, either way, I'm happy with uh, what we have. Defense, Prout. Uh, I decided to make Wierenski eighty five. So then is the top four defenseman because he is a top four defenseman. He's playing with Jones on the top line. We'll play Jones and him on the the top four just so then they play in their roles and they play with uh, each other so uh, that should work out Murray you guys uh, one of you guys suggested to make a medium top four I agree with that uh, for the most part he could still become that defenseman but in this franchise mode we already got, got Renskied back to a medium elite instead of low elite so I think this is fair um, Johnson Savard can be our top line pairing for now uh, we'll have to give Murray some more PK time and such 
Uh, let's see what we can do for uh, uh, like um, uh, who 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 can go where on the power play. I think Wierenski, uh, did I give him? He has 87s across the board pretty much. So Murray, um, we should probably play him, but uh, we'll play, well, instead of Savard, we will play, um, uh, who is it, Wierenski? Um, yeah, we'll play Wierenski. I do want to have him on the power play no matter what. We should be giving him time. Savard could still develop into a very good defenseman because he is 25 with elite potential as well. So uh, that's interesting. Yeah, we'll put Wenberg there. Uh, Four-man power play, Dubinsky, Atkins, and Saad, all that works out. Uh, Four-man power play, yeah, PK. Um, let's get, where is, uh, we could put him on defense, but for now, I'm going to put use this as an advantage to put Murray out there because he actually has slightly better stats, um, better defensive awareness and such, and plus we want to be playing him more. Prout will be okay because he is a depth defenseman and he's playing in a top six role. Uh, Jenner... Uh, let's see, Dubinsky. Let's get Dubinsky on that top line, PK, along with Jenner, and then I think that should be good. Um, Carlson, not the greatest defensively. We might have to switch him with someone else. Uh, maybe even Wenberg, because I know Wenberg. Yeah, Wenberg has great defensive stats. Dubinsky, we'll put him at uh, there for now. Um, if you guys didn't notice, I think the regular roster update for this one, with the December 1st one, I think it has him as an 87. I moved down to 86 because I think that's more realistic of his position. And I could have boosted these guys because in real life they're going crazy. Um, but just for realistic purposes, I mean, they just went on a big winning streak. They could come back down to earth. This could be more of their real team. That's I did boost a lot of their guys, but not to like insane 90s or something. I, I did notice Superman put Wierenski to an 89, which... To be fair, somewhat somewhat realistic the way he's playing, but uh, what he is, he could be an 86. He, um, I could have moved down Murray a bit more as well, but I mean, that's that's just how it's going to work for now. AHL, the best line should be okay. If an injury happens, then we'll bring up a forward or we'll just put in Nudavara for one game. I don't know, but I do want to get simming in this episode, and I wanted to make it a short one as possible because I have to do an ESHL as well, and then I have hockey tonight. There's going to be ho The only day I don't have hockey this week, guys, is Tuesday, which it may have already passed, um, but that's also a day that we're going to be using to record our film project uh, for our film class, me and uh, Travis and... Uh, AJ's helping up. Uh, uh, AJ's helping us out as well. So, uh, forwards. Uh, one thing I do want to mention: a lot of people put like Heischer, Nico Heischer, and Nolan Patrick as high elites, and they put a lot of prospects as high elite. This year, I don't think there's any high elite kind of guys. I was thinking of making Dolan for year two a high elite because I've watched, I, or I've, I've heard about how he's played, and to me, he seems like he could be a franchise defenseman. But I mean, medium elite's still fair. So. Um, yeah, what does this need t team need? We need more forwards, probably, and maybe a potential goalie to look at. But you know what? Let's go scout uh, uh, Nolan Patrick and Nico Heischer, because uh, Heischer is amazing. I love the way he plays. Swiss Connor McDavid, I hope the Canucks get him in real life. Uh, I'd probably like him more than Patrick, but I did make Patrick a bit better overall-wise. I think uh, Patrick's 81, and Heischer's about 80, I think, so... And then Lilia Grin is also medium elite. So preseason, wow, we're one for five. So not great, but you know what? It's preseason. Uh, we'll probably get one one year of simming in. Oh, sorry, what am I saying? Well, not one year, one month. Um, let's see if there's any free agents shortly. I don't know. Wait, no, never mind. We don't need free agents because that that's kind of unnecessary. Uh, we can call up uh, one of our forwards first. Then that way our AHL team just gets all settled in a bit quicker, I guess. Uh, I should do that. Uh, forwards, who could I bring up? I can bring up Sedlak, and I can bring up um, uh, the other guy, Clarkson. He's an actual fourth-line forward. He's getting paid. We got to trade Clark. I think I might actually trade up Clarkson. In the no, no, no. I don't have time to trade him in this episode. We will trade him very shortly, though. Uh, we may have to retain some cap. I'll, I'll do almost anything to get him off my hands. Uh, I really don't want to see him on the team. I don't like seeing that contract. So, you know what, Sedlak? We can bring him up for depth. I'm not one for putting 75 overall players, but whenever I see Clarkson play in my GMs, no matter what, he's always a minus. Maybe Sedlak would be better. I don't know. We could probably sign someone in free agency, but that's just to leave it for now. Uh, it's fine what it is. Um, Hartnell. Hartnell's a minus. So that third line did not do very well. Um, is there anything else we can switch up? Um... Yeah, we could end up... I I, I guess uh, you guys can let me know if you think we should trade Hartnell. I would trade him sooner rather than later because I think that is a tradable cap pretty quick. 
Um, we could use him for our playoff run, maybe year one, and then maybe trade him at the draft. You guys can let me know, again, all these trades. I already got tons of comments of like, guys to trade for. Zetterberg, I heard. Uh, who else? They're just top-line centers. Trade Johnson. Tr um, uh, I think, yeah, trade Jack Johnson for guys because we got Murray and all those defensive. But you know what? We're just going to keep the team the way it is. If we start winning, I mean, there's not much else that we can do. The only trade that I would uh, make regardless of whether we're winning or not is David Clarkson because I don't want that contract and I like I just don't want him on the on the team. So, um, not like in real life, real life, um, uh, he wasn't that horrible of a player it's just he got paid so much i think it was i think toronto gave him that contract right but it's just it's just an annoying thing to have on this team Ex especially with guys like uh wenberg you notice like the com computer can never sign wenberg within year one he always is an rfa so uh that could be a problem for us as well especially if wenberg gets better i mean he's already in 85 because we boosted him so he may even want more money than he would normally want so uh, Nico, let's get uh, one month forwards in the O eight or sorry the QMJHL. Uh, so we got we're three and one. We got some nice early wins. That's nice to see. But we need to keep on winning if we want to be a playoff contender. Early wins are always better than later wins because then we're not falling behind. And that's another loss. That's really annoying. Okay, so what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Hmm. Do I have injuries on? I might want to check that just in case. Player meetings. I might have to do some hold a team, hold a couple team meetings to make sure that uh, we get stuff uh, working. Seth Jones. There are times I don't want to walk into that locker room. Uh, be a role model in that locker room. He responds well to motivation. That's awesome to hear, Seth Jones. Awesome. Uh, he could be our future captain one day. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if in this franchise mode I can actually keep the captaincy on one player because I'm just whenever you do best lines in seasons and you trade away your captain, I it just even when you don't do best lines, it automatically sets captains, and I don't like that in this game. I just wish it went back to the old system where it stayed, or like it automatically just didn't have a captain for once, and then you could pick it. Like it give you a notification before the season started, like hey, you don't have a captain. Do you want to set someone as an assistant or leave it as is? Like, just I wish that EA did that for captaincy instead. So, uh, let me shortly, let me quickly do this. Uh, injury occurrence, I think I had it less than 10, but there aren't any injuries right now. Let me go make sure injuries are off. I think if they were off, then yeah, they're on. So, we're just getting lucky right now, but we aren't playing that great. So, uh, maybe we should go and make a line change or two. Um, that would probably be the wisest decision. We'll probably go halfway through the month of November. And then we'll look to uh, look to the next episode to sim probably up to uh, all star all star game uh, slash trade deadline depending on how we're doing. Uh, so let's see. Sorry, I'm in roster moves. I don't want to be here. Edit lines. Yeah, that's where I want to be. Okay. So let's see. Um, who's not performing? The fourth line is not great. Third line, uh, they've got some offense. Hartnell is not doing bad. Um, not much offense from the top lines. We might have to put Wenberg in there. The see the thing is now with Dubinsky as an eighty he's not an eighty seven. Oh, wow, his potential actually dropped to top nine. So we may have to trade him a lot earlier, especially with that cap hit. So wow, we are we could have some very big problems uh in the next couple of seasons here. Um uh, wow, that's crazy. Okay, uh Wenberg Let's see, minus two. You know what? Let's try putting, let's put some of these guys together. Let's do Atkinson, Wenberg, and Sod on the f first line. This could be our ideal first line for uh, a while, and then this could be just a second, uh, a second, uh, a depth line that's second. Sorry, sorry, what am I saying? A defensive second line. That's what I meant to say. Um, yeah, there's not much else we can do. We could potentially put Gagne in the, you know what? I might actually do that right now. Let's see, Jenner. Yeah, let's put, let's move, oh wait, no, he has four goals. I don't want to do that, I don't want to do that. Okay, um, we had some early losses there. You know what, let's just keep the team the way it is for now. Um, AHL, best lines, that's fine. The AHL team's probably not going to have a great year. Um, okay, yeah, we can continue on then. And hope that we can get some more wins because I really don't I don't want to be a losing team in year one. I'd love to go after a guy like Nico Heesher and or something like that or Nolan Patrick or a top pick. I'd love to go after a top prospect of some sort. Um, but right now, I just I want to make the playoffs because in real life that we're their Blue Jackets are a playoff team and in this game they should be a playoff team. We have a deep team. We just don't have any 
superstars right now. In real life, Atkinson's playing uh, amazing. In real life, Saad's playing pretty good. Wawrenski's playing amazing, or pretty good. I guess he's yeah, he's pretty playing really good. Um, but um, like in this GM though, they may not play as good. Bobrovsky may not get uh, tons of wins. I mean, Bobrovsky's an 89, so we should be able to win any game that we want really in in here. Um, replace player, yeah, we can do that. January 21st, we might actually want to bring up a different fourth line guy but we'll see what happens um we'll sim past this game washington they're a bit struggling we gotta take a win here there you go two nothing win see look at that borowski or i guess corby Salo even they got a shutout so i mean we're a good defensive team i think that's more what we uh what kind of a team we are um and if we want to win games then we should be i mean we can score six goals but you notice like we only allowed one goal that game so when we're defensive we're usually pretty we're, we have a good chance of winning um offensively we may not score six goals every game um let's see let's go forwards in the ohl for a month and we'll uh scout some guys there see we lot we only we allowed two goals but we didn't get much offense so we might need to add a forward come the trade deadline um, a 3-1 loss. You know what? We'll go to the end of this month, and hopefully we can stay above 500, get a couple wins here. Some Eastern Conference teams after Calgary here, which we got to win. Prosser, no, we don't really need him. No, 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 we don't need him. Could be for the AHL, but we're, I think we're fine right now. Let's just focus on the NHL for now. Uh, Tampa, Florida, and then Tampa again to finish off the month. We lose to Tampa 4-1. We get a victory against the Panthers. Can we come back with a win against Tampa? They're 14-10. And we get a 3-0 victory. There you go. So we're 12-9-0. Not horrible, but I don't think we'll be in a playoff spot. Not quite enough wins above 500. Uh, yeah, wild card. We don't have it taken, but we're one point behind New York. So it's pretty good position to be in. We can, if we start winning more games, we can definitely make the playoffs, of course. Uh, it's still early on. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys have questions about the rosters, uh, maybe I, I can comment back on your videos. I'm doing less comments on the videos, guys, because for, 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 first of all, I'm quite busy. Uh, and second of all, like it's just now we're getting more comments. And I lo guys, I love the comments. Um, I will respond to some. I hope you guys don't are, aren't offended if I don't respond to you. Uh, but uh, just just for now, that's that's how it's gonna be. Um, so, anyways, I will try and get the next episode out as quick as possible because I know you guys had to wait a full week for this. And uh, oh yeah, we're finally here. We're doing our Blue Jackets franchise mode, so that's good. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. If you feel free, you if you, you if you don't have to, I'm not. You, don't be obligated. Don't feel obligated. But anyways, guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.